Marigami Udon has been open in San Francisco since January 2018. Nine months later, there's still a line out the door every day, so let's check it out. There's a large menu to choose from and we came hungry. Choices, choices here. When we stepped into the restaurant, we saw fresh udon noodles being made. This is definitely going to be a very good meal. Don't be intimidated by the lines. It moves fast and it's very efficient. Be sure to pick up a black tray to hold your udon noodles and also a white tray for the side items like tempura. Order when they ask and the noodles are pretty much made instantly in front of you. Thank you so much, enjoy your meal. I got number one and number five. Oh, sorry about that. The second part of ordering is making sure you pick up all your sides, like the tempura and the other options available here. I usually stick with the tempura because I love fried food. <laughs> After you make your selections, the cashier will ring up your order and also ask if you want any drinks. It's pretty seamless. And the last part before eating is this garnish bar where you can put more green onions, cilantro, and tempura bits onto your bowls of udon. Very nice. So here's our meal for two people. I got the beef udon, the lady got the nikotama udon. We also decided to share a tonkatsu, and then also the tempura sides with shrimp and squid. We definitely weren't joking when we said that we were hungry. Bon appetit! Here's my beef udon. The beef had a slightly sweet flavor and sliced very thin, but there's a lot of beef in here. And the noodles are nice and firm, served all in a well-seasoned hot beef broth. It's really perfect for a cool San Francisco day. And here's the tonkatsu udon that we shared. Very creamy broth with tender chasu pork slices and also ground miso pork with it. It came with the soft boiled egg on the side, but I gave it to the lady for her udon. This udon is definitely on the heavier side though with its creamy broth. So good. The Nikutama udon was very similar to the beef one that I had, except the broth was a little bit more concentrated and there was a soft boiled egg in it as well. About a half hour later, we were all done with our noodles and we were so full. It was such an awesome meal. So if you happen to be around a Marigami udon, be sure to check it out. But definitely, definitely get there early to beat the lines. Enjoy! <laughs>